Hey guys, how you doing? Luna here with a new video for the channel. Same t-shirt as, as last video, my Nirvana t-shirt right here. That means that I'm trying to, you know, upgrade my uh, upload schedule. I'm trying to make more videos, you know, even though no one is watching them yet. Welcome to a new episode of the Overrated series where I talk about your favorite artists and ask the question, are they overrated or not? In this episode, we have no one else but Kendrick Lamar. And even though I feel like this video is going to be pretty obvious, maybe it's not. Because it is true that Kendrick is an amazing artist. No one can deny that. But when some, you know, when so many people say Kendrick is the greatest rapper of all time, that opens a small door to, for us people that love discussions and love debate to say, is he really? Because remember, when we're talking about if an artist is overrated or not, we need to look at how people perceive that artist. For example, if I were to say tomorrow, is Lil Nas overrated, then I would definitely say no. Because it isn't that I love Lil Nas music where I think that their albums is, uh, you know, uh, uh, that his albums are good. The thing is that no one really is saying that he's one of the best rappers or one of the best artists out there so that, you know, people are not overrating him. That's basically what this video is. But please remember that this is only my personal opinion. So if you have your own, then go ahead, leave it down below in the comments and I'll make sure to check it out. With that being said, let's just go on with the video. For us to talk about Kendrick, we need to go back to section eight you know when everything started fuck you if you want me to talk about overly dedicated or you know earlier mixtapes section 80 even though it's obviously one of his weakest albums i believe that it's a great example of you know of when an artist shows a huge amount of potential and someone a label or you know a producer gives him that ability to bloom in the next album because the next album was Good Kid Matt City and I don't think I need to say anything else. But before we get into his discography, I think the first thing we need to see is Kendrick's lyricism. In terms of lyrics, I haven't seen that many people, you know, praise Kendrick enough. I actually think that Kendrick is underrated as a lyricist because even though it's true that a few, you know, selected group of people love the way that he tells a story and loves the story that he tells, I believe that Kendrick excels in terms of lyricism, not only because of how well he does at, uh, at storytelling, but also because of how well he does an, uh, you know, an abstract lyricism. Because Kendrick can tell you a story that it's deep, emotional, and 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 keeps keeping you at the edge of your seat. But for me, you know, when Kendrick is being a bit of an of an abstract lyricist, when he's saying things that are not supposed to make sense, but somehow they do. I have the most fun. For example, in the track for free, you know, the interlude into Pimpa Butterfly where he's having this, this discussion with uh, his wife or his girl, I don't even fucking know, about how she is basically a gold digger. This whole thing, this whole argument is so original and just showed to me that Kendrick doesn't really want his entire lyrical focus into one theme or, or one type of storytelling. You don't really need to listen to a specific song in order for you to find out how amazing he is. I can tell you a whole list. For example, Sing About Me, The Black and the Berry, Mad City, Money Trees, uh, I don't know, Triple X, DNA, Doc Worth, um, We Cry Together. I mean, the, the, the way that he tells the story and the way that he performs this story, that's another topic, but I, I have to include it. It's amazing. So in terms of lyrics, I believe that Kendrick is actually really underrated and, you know, one of the best lyricists of our time, definitely. You know, they can be funny, tragic, uh, dramatic, or I don't know, just fucking weird. He can tell a story and that's the main thing, uh, you know, in, in terms of lyricism. If you are able to tell a story, then you have a point. In terms of performance, we not only need to focus on how fast the rapper, uh, you know, raps. You also need to look at a variety of things that make a performance good. In Kendrick's discography, you find many different ways that Kendrick, you know, portrays feelings. Is it singing in a lower tune? Is it rapping in a higher tune? Is it rapping, you know, it sounded like he's chucking on a bottle, like in the track U, one of the best rapping performances ever. That track is amazing, something ridiculous, and a point where you 
you know, you're listening to a Pimp a Butterfly, that track comes on and you're just amazed by how well it is performed. I love that track. And then you have the Black of the Berry where he sounds annoyed and he sounds like, you know, the, you know, the, the, the hypocrisy that he's pointing out in the track really gets to him. You really feel the emotion behind his words and that's the main thing behind a performance. Good Kid Mad City is also a great example. You can, do, you can tell the sorrow in Kendrick's voice in tracks like Sing About Me and then in tracks like Mad City, the way that he performs in this uh, higher pitched voice that I don't think it's, you know, modified in the studio. I think that he actually just rapped like this. It's amazing. I love it. I, I really do. In terms of how fast, uh, you know, he can rap, I, I never think that that's something relevant, really. I don't give a fuck how fast an artist can rap. Actually, Rap God by Eminem is not a song that I love that much. I think that it gets to a point where you're rapping so fast that I don't even know what the fuck you're saying, so what's the point? But Kendrick does have a few amount of tracks where he sings really fast. For example, in Triple X, DNA as well, um, in the track uh, All Right from To Pimp a Butterfly, he sings, he has a part where he sings really fast. The technical ability, you know, in, in Kendrick's rapping isn't really something that's off. I believe that he is a really good rapper. I haven't seen him freestyle. And that would be something really interesting to see. Has he, you know, pulled off a few freestyles? I don't know. Overall, you know, I don't think that's something really important, but if you give a shit about it, then he, yes, he can rap fast. So in terms of performance, Kendrick is not overrated at all. I believe that his performances in many tracks uh, from albums like To Pimp a Butterfly and Good Kid Mad City are among the best performances ever in rap. So yeah. In terms of popularity, I mean, I know that Kendrick is in everyone's mouths, but it is true that he's not even half as popular as Drake or Kanye, you know, no one's talking about Kendrick that much, but I actually kind of like that. It is a bit boring to see an artist constantly, you know, on social media, seeing him all the time on Instagram, on TikTok. It's really refreshing because when you, you know, when you see a new album release by Kendrick, he has changed. Is a new Kendrick. There's a new style. There's a new concept. There's a new something. And that new something surprises you because you haven't seen him in a long time. He's been absent, you know. When people like Drake or Dua Lipa or, I don't know, Lana Del Rey, Taylor Swift, every time they release a project, it is a full project, you know, including audiovisual, social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, it's a whole trend that they try to create with their album. Instead, Kendrick focuses way more on the music and, you know, in the audiovisual support of the songs in terms of, you know, when he's releasing a video, he tries to... Uh, it, you know, fit in a lot of um, subliminal messages rather than just making a video that will be trendy or will, will start a trend. And I love that. I love that. So I, I do think that if you want to say that Kendrick is the most popular rapper ever, that will make him really overrated. But then again, I haven't seen many people say that either. You know, Kendrick, well, when we're talking about the most famous rapper in the game, Kendrick doesn't really get in the conversation. I don't think he considers himself that. Uh, as well, you know, so saying that he's overrated in terms of popularity, in order for me to say that, I need someone saying that he's the most popular rapper right now. No one is really saying that. What I'm trying to say is that no one really cares that much about Kendrick when, you know, it's outside of music, when it's outside of his lane, you know. All the people that praise Kendrick is because of the quality of his albums and the quality of his music, the quality of the videos. And I personally love that, you know. I don't think that an artist should be like this necessarily to, to get my respect, but I just love when... You know, he releases an album, he releases a few pictures and whatever, whatever, and then you don't hear from him until the next album. I love that. I, I really do. So yeah, in terms of popularity, I don't really want to make it that long. He's not overrated because no one really is saying that he's the most popular one. So yeah. Now, in terms of discography, it's really easy to come up with an answer because Kendrick probably has the cleanest and most prolific a discography ever in music. I'm exaggerating right there, but it is true that his discography is just full of amazing albums. There's not a single miss, not even in, you know, the leftoffs. 
let's just analyze his discography real quick, okay? So, starting with Section 80, it was an album that included a lot of songs that were really enjoyable, such as a DHD, for example, Rick and Mortis, a High Power. Then you have Good Kid Mad City. I don't really need to tell you the amount of great songs and how fucking legendary this album is. But if you want me to give you a few examples uh, on why this album is so fucking great, you have Swimming Pools. Bitch Don't Kill My Wife, Money Trees, Mad City, Poetic Justice, Sing About Me and Dying of Thirst. An album where Kendrick focused way more on storytelling and, you know, it tilted more toward the, the, you know, the upcoming trap scene that was going on at the time. Then you have The Pimp and Butterfly, one of the greatest albums ever released. Kendrick focused way more on, you know, jazz fusion with hip hop, something that was really popular in the 90s with track, uh, with albums like The Low End Theory and Midnight Marauders by uh, A Trip Called Quest. This album is way more than the song of its parts, so saying a few songs, it would be fucking pointless because it's the whole thing. It's the whole experience of the album that makes it so amazing, but of course it has a, gr you know, a great track list. For example, you go with This Walls, All Right, You, Why, um, fucking The Black of the Berry. Untitled Mastered is one of my favorite albums from 2016 and it was an album where you know there was no effort to put the tracks together it just sounded good then you have damn an album that even though i think that it was a bit of a, fl a flop uh after a good streak of albums i still believe that it's one of the best releases of 2017 tracks like uh, humble dna triple x duckworth loyalty yeah maybe not loyalty but element a great album and then you have the most recent release Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers an album that even though my review was really harsh and I believe that I was a bit unfair with with the rating right now I've listened to the album a couple more times and I would put it a bit higher you know give the album a seven in terms of instead of a six the album is still amazing so basically what you have is six albums all of them amazing all of them good all of them really good you don't really have a decent album out there all of them are great that's pretty much enough to say that your career your entire persona as a music artist is not overrated you know in terms of discography i cannot really even bring myself to say that kendrick is overrated actually i believe that he is the best uh, the rapper with the best discography ever in rap music so no in terms of discography he is not overrated at all Overall, I believe that Kendrick's whole career has been a gift. Really, it's been amazing listening to each and every single one of his albums. To me, he's one of the best rappers of all time, not really only because of how, you know, his technical ability as a rapper, but really because of how much of an impact he had on the game, how much he showed that rap music could be modified in many different ways to make more interesting projects. I believe that Kendrick inspired a whole troop of, of, of hip hop artists that were trying to do something different and didn't really know what to do. His albums are his albums, are Kendrick Lamar albums, and no other artist could pull off a Kendrick Lamar album. And that's just truth, you know. So yeah, you know, even if you nitpick, even if you want to say where, uh, I don't know, Eminem sold more, Eminem can rap faster, Jay-Z has a better flow, uh, Tupac has more cultural influence, uh, whatever. When you take all of those different qualities and put it all in a pot, the rapper that has them all in a moderate amount is Kendrick, you know. So for me, even though I don't think he is the best rapper of all time, he's definitely up there with the best ones. And I believe that, uh, I, you know, I'm always going to be really excited every time that he listen that he's releasing another album. I'm really excited to see what he has next. And I'm really thankful for, you know, the six albums that he has released until now. So no, there's not a single chance that I can say with a straight face that Kendrick Lamar is overrated. So definitely not. And anyone that even remotely suggests that Kendrick is overrated should die. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos that I upload. I want to know what your opinion on Kendrick is. Do you think he's overrated? Do you think he is not? Even though people are quick to criticize him, especially when he doesn't release albums that are up to the task, 
I believe that everyone does it because they know how good he can be and they know that this is not his peak even though you know the albums like Damn and Mr. Morale are amazing albums. When people criticize you because your album is only amazing not perfect then you know you're doing something well. With that being said once again I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope I can see you guys soon with a new video. But until then, bye.